Wonderful to be here. Thank you guys so much for coming out in the horrible weather, right? I love nights like this in New York where it's raining really hard and the wind is swirling around. And every once in a while, you'll just see like a crumpled corpse of an umbrella on the sidewalk. <laughs> You're like a mangled, twisted heap of metal. The next time you see that, take a moment of respectful silence. Because every broken umbrella you see represents a truly crap moment in someone's life. That is a catastrophically bad moment, that person. Because that's not a casual event. Like, hey, fellas, look, my umbrella turned inside out again. <laughs> I'll just delicately place that here and go about my day. Tra-la-la. It's never that. It's usually somebody like, ah, screw it. This ends now. I can't even get to a garbage can. Screw it. There's a garbage can roughly every 30 yards in New York. So when you see an umbrella on the sidewalk, that is someone who simply said, no mas. Say <laughs> fini. And it's never on your way home. It's always on your way to somewhere, like a job interview or like a first date. And then the one spoke of the umbrella breaks, you're holding it up with one hand. I'm not a religious person, but if there is a hell, I believe it is walking up 10th Avenue in New York City for eternity in a rainstorm, carrying a $4 Dwayne Reed umbrella. <laughs> Forever and ever. Now, I don't know how many of you are familiar with uh, Latin music, but for those of you who don't know much about it, merengue is the world's worst music. Um, no, no. I'm not saying it's bad. I'm just saying it's truly awful. And that's not a racial thing, because listen, I like, I, like, uh, I like salsa. salsa. Salsa is usually like romantic music, where some guy is singing about his corazon, whatever the hell that is. And... Uh, I don't mean te I don't like I don't mind Tejano or even a little reggaeton, right? But merengue, for those of you who don't know, is something different. Merengue is usually one musical phrase repeated about forty thousand times. <laughs> usually, something like para 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 for like six hours. And then you'll have a guy who will shout some stuff in Spanish, and then a group of guys who will repeat what the guy just shouted. So we'll be like, Barero, 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 until I put a shotgun in my mouth. That's... That's the general thrust of a merengue ditty. People, I do not claim to be an expert, okay? I am uh, my Latino friends, and I believe they're here. They'll say, well, you don't get it. This is dance music. You're not supposed to analyze merengue. You're supposed to get it up and dance to it. And that's fine, but I'm, that's all well and good. But I'm telling you, when I walk into my local bodega to buy to buy toilet paper and chips ahoy, nobody's dancing, okay? <laughs> it's just a cat sleeping on a five pound bag of rice. <laughs> Some one-legged dude sitting on a milk carton who wants me to zip up his jacket for him. <laughs> and then a fat guy in a wife beater picking stuff out of his belly button behind the counter, like ba banana, ba banana, ba banana, ba banana, ba banana, ba banana. Eh, 50. That's what merengue is.